Hey, it's Scott Todd from LandMoto.com, and I w wanted to answer a question I get all the time, which is, how do I find a property based on the GPS coordinates that you have on your website? And it's really, really simple because, you know, if you if you have a phone like a, an iPhone or an Android phone, you can just literally punch in the GPS coordinates into your phone. But if you want to take a look at it from your computer, it's simple. Just just take this GPS coordinate. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go to Google Maps. Google Maps. And you can go to Google Map. And you can literally just come here and hit paste. Hit enter. And this will take you to the GPS coordinate. Might take a minute. Let's see, here it goes. There it is. So you can see that this property that I have here, this is the northwest corner, and these are all approximates because, um, you know, they, they could be off just a little bit, but here's the northwest corner, and you can see the exact street that this uh, property is off of. And if you want to take a satellite view, you can hit Earth down here, and this will show you the property and now I can uh, zoom in and see further get more a better picture of this property and here it is and in some situations I might be able to take this little guy right down here and drag and drop him over and, and if it if it's a if a street view is available then it will highlight blue uh, but nothing there's no street view available for that property so here I can zoom in and zoom out of the property. Um, another way of doing this is literally to use another um, application uh, that's a free application that's called Google Earth. And um, I'll bring up Google Earth here. And you would just come right up here and hit paste and hit search. and it will take you to that property. Here it goes. Personally, I like Google Earth uh, a little bit better. It gives me a better, uh, some different perspectives. Um, you know, again, I can zoom in. In this case, Google Maps gave me the street name in this case, oh, there it is. There's the street name too. So I get a, a good view here. With Google Earth, I can actually zoom in. I get a higher resolution. The other thing I can do in Google Earth is I'm able to take this and I'm able to um, actually pan pan down, if you will. Uh, let's see. Let me go out a little bit and then actually able to I can drag this guy over here. Again, no street view is available. Okay. Um, you can zoom out a little bit. The other thing is you can see is you can you can find other uh, where other uh, homes or properties are in the in the area. So you can see that this one that we were just looking at is pretty pretty remote. There's not a lot of neighbors around, uh, which is which is nice if you want to be able to get away. Uh, you can continue to zoom out. You can see some more properties here. Uh, you, here's, in this case, this is the Rio Grande River. And sometimes you have little pictures here like this. And if so, you can click that little picture and it will give you a picture of, um, you know, whatever's in, in the Google database. So that's how you can use the, the GPS coordinates to help you find a property. We try to put the GPS coordinates on all of the properties so that uh, it, it helps you. Uh, and you don't have to necessarily rely just on the GPS on your phone. You can actually zoom in from your computer, get a good, good look at the uh, property uh, right from your home. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. See you later.